Hello, welcome everybody. I'm Daikon Dave with the Food Literacy Center, and today I'm here to show you how to make sun butter. Did you guys even know you can make your own sun butter? Well, I'm going to show you how. Um, we use sun butter at Food Literacy Center with our cornerstone lesson of Your Sandwich Can Save the World. The reason we do this is we try to show the kids that we can have fresh fruit on our peanut butter sandwich instead of jelly. That'll give them more fiber and more nutrients and less sugar in their, in their snacks, right? Um, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, and where do sunflower seeds come from? Does anybody? Right, they come from sunflowers, right? I picked these sunflowers yesterday. Um, these are kind of small. You know, usually they're tall and big, big yellow petals on them, but they dry up. Um, and we get these seeds in the middle. Let me pull some out for you and show you. So you get these seeds. And what you do is you can buy them shucked in raw at the store. Sometimes at the farmer's market, but I got these at the store. And you want to use raw, uh, unsalted sunflower seeds for this. Because when you roast them, it takes the oils out of the seeds. And it won't make the butter. Right? So raw sunflower seeds. Unsalted. Because we're going to add our own salt. So, with that in mind, why don't we get started? Okay, so we're gonna go through my recipe real fast and we're gonna check, make sure we have everything. Do we have three cups of unroasted, unsalted sunflower seeds? Right here, tablespoon, tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna use brown sugar. I think it's gonna give it a lot better flavor. And actually, I haven't made it with brown sugar before, so I'm gonna be a food adventurer as well. Salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. So we have our salt and olive oil. I got my olive oil over here. So why don't we get started? So I got a food processor right here. I think you could probably make this in a blender too if you don't have the food processor. But right now I'm gonna put the three cups of sunflower seeds in without making a big old mess, right? All right, three cups of sunflower seeds. Put them over there so we don't spill them. And it says to pulse them with um, a tablespoon of sugar and our half a teaspoon of salt. So why don't we do that? So that gets all mixed together. The oils start releasing in the seeds to actually make the butter. Now sugar, why do you say put some sugar in there? Well, if you just grind up these uh, seeds to make butter, it's a little bitter. It is, really. I've had unsweetened... Uh, some, some butter before, and it is a little bitter. So a little bit of sugar in there is probably not a bad thing, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna add that all in there. We're gonna pulse this up, and it's gonna get kind of loud, all right? I don't want to. So here we go, you ready? And the kids love this, dude. So get the kids in, get them pressing the buttons, get this thing whirling, all right? Here we go, ready? So this thing's gonna be buzzing around, chopping up those seeds and start releasing those oils. In about three or four minutes, it's gonna turn hopefully into butter. Here we go. Maybe, I, maybe after a while we're gonna check it out. All right, here we go. See how we're doing. Still grinding up and the oils haven't released yet. Still kind of powdery. Here you go, check it out. Still kind of powdery. All right, so here, let's keep going. Let's keep going. The kids just love seeing this thing spin around, right? Just love to watch it spin around. check it again oh it's starting it's getting there it's starting to get a little sticky la, 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 la. maybe sing a song while it's spinning la 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 the spinny song <laughs> So 
So yeah, the reason we use sun butter, the reason we use sun butter is obvious like uh, for peanut allergy. Kids who have a peanut allergy can eat the seeds of things, just not nuts. So what we're doing is making a sun butter out of a seed instead of a nut. Right, the recipe says eight to 10 minutes. I think this is gonna take a couple more minutes here. We're just gonna let it grind away till it becomes a butter. And look at all these beautiful fruits I got at the farmer's market on Wednesday. They have beautiful stone fruits out now, the white nectarines, the peaches. And what we're gonna use for our sandwich today is a pluot. This is the pluot. Now a pluot is a hybrid fruit between a plum and an apricot. You ever tried one of those? You can if you go down to the farmer's market on Saturday or Wednesday. getting stickier starting to stick to the side so I'm gonna stir this up still a little powdery though let's keep this going keep it going it smells super sunflowery and I can actually smell that brown sugar that molasses and the brown sugar right now <clears throat> and once it's done we're gonna add some olive oil to it to in, in, enhance the smoothness of the, of the nut butter. So along with the fresh fruits at the Oak Park Farmer's Market, all the vegetables as well. I got some zucchini and cucumbers like, I, like last week. We had all those cucumbers last week for the dill uh, cucumber salad. Um, corn, I'm really gonna enjoy this corn for dinner tonight. They got peppers, zucchini. Another shot. Let's see how it's going here. All right, it is releasing, and I think now we're going to add some oil. It seems to be sticking together, and those seem to be working up. And those oils are releasing, right? So why don't we try adding our olive oil? into you got a teaspoon we pour the olive oil over the thing over our uh, mixer and why do we do that so if we spill we don't make a mess right so we are gonna keep this up for a couple more minutes you might need a rubber spatula here to scrape it all up and to keep it mixing So along with our sun butter sandwich and our fresh fruit, how are other ways you eat your uh, sun butter? With seasonal fruits and vegetables. Like at home, I might slice up an apple and just spread some uh, sun butter on an apple. Or maybe celery, like the given uh, favorite, celery. Chop that up, makes a great snack. Put it in there. Maybe they put raisins on it, right? They call that ants on the log, maybe. So that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna taste my sun butter today. I might have a sandwich with some pluots for lunch. We're gonna Oh, here we go, it's getting there. We gotta mix this up. It is almost there. Look, see how it's becoming more like sun butter, right? It's about at a clay stage right now. I think it's gonna take one more shot. It's gonna take one more shot. So where do you get raw sunflower seeds? You can get them in any grocery store. I got these uh, in the bulk department of the grocery store. 
super cheap and this sun butter tastes so much better than any that you could buy at the grocery store. Oh, food process is starting to struggle, man, which means it's turning into butter. So I'm gonna chop me up while that's going. Chop me up some celery and we're gonna use our claw, all right? We're gonna make little sticks, celery sticks, probably the same, same width here, just so they're pretty. And I think we're almost there. We're gonna cut, shut that off so we don't take our rubber spatula, mix that up on there. Oh, that's buttery and smooth. All right, why don't we give it a try? I got myself a knife here. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put some on there. Here, let me show you. With a spoon. With our spoon. So that went from gritty to buttery. It's sun butter. We made our own sun butter, all right? So let's give it a shot. Here we go on our celery. Mm. <laughs> Salty and yummy and good on our celery. You can make a sun butter sandwich with fresh cut fruits from one of the farmer's markets, stone fruits like our white nectarines or pluots. Eat it on a snack. Um, you're gonna take this, put it in an airtight container. It'll probably last like two or three weeks and three weeks in the refrigerator. Makes a great snack, an alternative to peanut butter if you have a peanut allergy. Um, thank you for joining me today. As always, go head to the Oak Park Farmer's Market. It's on Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, if you receive EBT benefit, look for the EBT booth with the giant banner. It's, there's, uh, take advantage of their matching. Matching funds, they'll give you vouchers for matching funds. Um, and thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you at the food bank.